last Devo of the year. How about that? This is a verse that God has put on my heart for 2024. It just, it hit me and it stuck with me ever since. Uh, the context is Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead. He meets with Mary and Martha. He shares some beautiful truth that he's the resurrection and the life. You get the verse there where Jesus wept experiences the heartache of death and the reality of, of sin. He comes face to face with it and ministers to those that were there. He comes up and gets to the tomb and he says, take the stone away. Martha rolls up to him and says, Master, by this time there is a stench. He's been dead for four days. Jesus then looks at her and he says this. He says, did I not say to you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? And that's the verse that has captured me at this point in time. I want to share with you guys and ask you to be praying into it and saying, Lord, what does it even mean for me coming on this year ahead? You know, looking forward, what does it mean? If I would just believe, I would see the glory of God. Something there for Martha to hear where she had to put her faith and put her trust in something that seemed absolutely impossible. As a church, we're going through and, and uh, we'll, we'll cover this on the coming Sundays, impossible prayers. What are things that you need to be praying for and things that you need to hope for and you put your trust in the Lord, but it's nothing that you can do. I want to trust God for these things and I want to put my faith in him like this, but I think this is an encouragement and I hope that it is for you. If you would believe, you would see the glory of God. And so then it, it just comes down to a matter of, okay, Lord, help me, help my unbelief. There's areas where I struggle, but if I will believe, I'll see God work in incredible and miraculous ways. Martha stepped aside and then watched Jesus call her dead brother out of a tomb. That's impossible, but not with God. And it goes back to if you would just believe. So there's a lot of things I'm praying for personally, things that I'm looking towards and God has challenged me with in my own family here in, in our fellowship. And I just want to cling to this. If I would just believe, I would see the glory of God. So let me pray. And we'll be done. Thanks for watching with us. Lord, we ask that you would give us faith and that we would place it directly and squarely in you. Not in methods, not in teachings, but in the person and in the, in the work and who you are as God Almighty. Thank you for these, these devils we've had. Thank you for allowing us to just roll through your word, to meditate on it and to consider it. All the work you've done this year, 52 weeks of you faithfully working and now you've positioned us and poised us and would speak to us, I think, today for this next year. If you would just believe, we would see you work and we would see your glory. We would see you do things that we thought were impossible. We ask that you would do that work in the souls of people that you'd bring them to life. And so we thank you for this time. Lord Jesus, you are to be exalted and, and magnified. We love you and praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. God bless you guys.